Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Something else that I don't know how I feel about, just to kind of add to the fuckery of the evening. No. So I watched the Pivot podcast, and there's a dude, Channing Crowder, on there. And he always say some wild shit. I mean, yes, indeed. Like, like he kind of like the resident freak of the damn show. He always say some old crazy shit about sex or something. Light skin dude with the um dreads. Yeah. yeah. He's our uh, talking about. Yeah, so the other day... You said... On the podcast, the clip dry. He he was basically asking this dude. He was basically interviewing this dude, and he was like, he called the man beautiful. <laughs> now you know people on the internet got no uproar, but I, I didn't know what to do in them. All right, so I guess my question is, I, ha- I had some thoughts, and I just kind of wanted to bring them to the chat and just get other men's perspective on this because I don't <laughs> really know where to go with this, and uh. So, like, you know, we play the Paws and, and the Whistle yeah. game and, and the No Homo thing and the little, you know, the, the little games because the shit be funny when the shit happen. But, like, is that gay to call another man beautiful? I wouldn't call it gay. I'd say you on, he on a different wave of his compliment Thank game. You. Me personally... Yeah. I was always taught and been around men who say we don't judge men. We don't look at men and judge men. So that's just my natural mentality. You feel me? I don't look at another man and be like, he ugly, he beautiful, nothing like that. I don't even know how to judge a man. You feel me? Because y'all all ugly. You feel me? I'm conditioned to judge <laughs> and, and, and dictate what, what is beauty when it looked at a woman and not a man. So I don't even know how that would look like. Even when I look to myself, like I'm, I'm, I, I know I'm handsome because my wife lets me know I'm handsome. You feel me? Like, I don't look at another man to be like, I judge myself towards another man. Like, he looks like this. I said, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't even know how to condition my mind to, to, to even wrap around that. So for okay. Shannon, Shannon to go off and be like, this man is beautiful. I won't say that's gay because I don't know that man. You feel me? Like, so I don't know what your tendencies are, your sexuality or whatever. From what I hear, you're married to a woman. Cool. Y'all do some weird shit. Y'all go to sexual beaches, new beaches, because y'all like around, being around naked people. Okay, cool. That's cool too, whatever. Just weird. But on his conversation, he just may be on another wave of his mental masculinity that he feels comfortable telling another man he looks beautiful. To each his own. But like I said, me, how I was raised, how I get how I was conditioned and my mental capacity, I can't even logically compute that in my mind to even voice that to another man because I don't know how to judge men on on that on that face. You remember, like, like I said, I judge myself based on what a female has told me. So I know I look good because <laughs> my wife has told me, female in the past have told me. So I mean, cool. But he kept on saying it though. He didn't just say it one time. He he made it a point to make sure that the dude know. And then oh boy clearly felt uncomfortable. And you see that. So as a podcast host, I mean, we can take it from a, a lot of different perspectives. I was like, that's um that's crazy. I haven't seen anything wild like that since Charlemagne back in the day. Old Charlemagne. He went on some old Charlemagne to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like he he stressed the point. I was like, hey, are you about to get this nigga an ass? Like for real, like fam, you about to sniff his seat? Oh, (laughs) that's that's old Charlemagne. He used to go around sniffing people's seats. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh Um, I guess why? Why do y'all think that like men are conditioned to not like? All right, so like you know how women are are like socialized from kids that it's okay to like tell another girl that they pretty or some shit like that. Right. What do y'all think is like that that men don't have that as a part of their socialization? Like, do you think it's like genetics? Like, it's something in that that Y chromosome that like blocks that piece of us, or do you think it's like a societal thing? It's society. I don't think we. I don't think we naturally care anyway. It might be society, but because we're the way we're built in society, we don't. We won't. We don't naturally think about that. To care you know. enough. That's that's <laughs> you. You don't. There's people that do. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it's society. I think a little bit have to do with how comfortable you are with yourself as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How you was raised is going to have a lot to do with that. You know what I mean? I take it on. Like somebody said before, like I call, I call all dudes ugly. You know what I mean? Just like we just say that. You know what I'm saying? People call me ugly. You know what I mean? But that's that's the thing. And as far as the compliment and going overboard, that's crazy. I don't feel like it's a stigma on ugly. Exactly. But like, Mm -hmm. it's something about like deeming another man attractive that is weird. But I don't know, like. Why where it come from? Yeah, like because I don't feel like yeah, like it's I a way say stuff like like with men. I think it's like it's a common like unspoken word to say like all right, there's ways to compliment. Like I I like we normally compliment all right if a, if a guy got an outfit that looks cool or whatever. Um, shoot, that's the compliment. That's the compliment. Like, yo, you look fly today. You know, I, I, I give it up. I like them shoes. You know, this, Boom. that, and the third. Those are the things that we, we look for, or whatever. But as far as like people and facial features and things like that, saying beautiful, like I, I, I think I need to go in and actually see how he said it or whatever, because I've oh, seen other. Because I've seen other men say that, like I've seen Joe Budden say that or whatever in a complimentary way, but it's it seemed like the way he said is like a mental health thing. Like you look good, man. You look everything looks clear. You don't look like you, you know, no, things like that. Like you look good. He said you look beautiful. Like you're a beautiful man. Right. Mm-hmm. You ever get that before? Because you're beautiful. No. Nah, so <laughs> like, it was, what type of dude? Like, you know. You got a nice outfit type of thing. You got a fresh cut. Yeah. Like, yo, all right. I see your line. Like, you you know, your line. You about to kill him. You fresh? Yeah, you fresh. Like, that's that's the that's the kind of compliments we throw around. That's the most you get from me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, deepest, you're kind of fresh. Deepest. You got a nice outfit. Like, that's that's most you get from me. The, the deepest I'll, compliment I'll I can that give another so. brother is, yeah, he get, he, you know, he, he be getting girl. Women like him. Right. Yeah. Right. That's it. But that's I, the ultimate kind. I was talking no, because every everybody has answered that question. If you ever set anybody up with a girl, how he look? Exactly. He cool. He cool. Yeah, he he get he cool. He get <laughs> oh, no, girls say he look good. Right. Yeah, I mean, shit, bitches yeah. don't bitches say he look good. Like, <laughs> but I was telling my wife like <laughs> that I, should I be like, the highest of compliments from man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought about how another dude look, even when asked their question. I feel like I've always, because I feel like I've always understood that like women might like a dude, but it might not have nothing to do with looks. It might have something to do with like, oh, he got a certain status or he got a certain right. yeah. financial thing going or he might got a certain swag that she like or he might dress cool or you know what I'm saying? He might got the hairstyle that's in for this month or whatever the case may be, but like it's so many different reasons that women be liking dudes. Like I ain't never really thought about like how they look is being that deep, and then women and be you shouldn't have to. with what they like. Because I done seen some dudes that I'd be like, he look like one of the garbage pail kids. <laughs> but women be like, oh, right, he beautiful. So you know, what I mean, I don't know shit. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what a, what beauty like. I think face it depends. I don't really know what beauty for a man exactly is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know your standards. To, to, to clarify, I know right. what ugly in anything is like whether it's a child mm-hmm. painting, oh all yes. the way up to like uh, you know what I'm saying like whatever. It could be something in nature that's just ugly. Like shit, ugly is the fact. It's just ugly. It's just yeah. very. Nah, I'm qualified to point those things out. Yeah, it, it, it supersedes <laughs> any type of uh genre or or gender or whatever. It's just ugly. Just be ugly. But I don't that's know like how beautiful is outside of women and art. And even art, I feel like that shit is kind of just up to me. And women exactly. be that way too, because I be I be seeing some girls that I be like, oh yeah, she's nice looking. And then other people be like, no, that ain't it, player. And vice versa. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know no more, man. I that, think that, it. I think it comes down to it. into a conundrum though to just watch him so comfortably, just call that man beautiful, and I. I know him to be straight from what I know, so it was just like my brain had some cognitive dissonance. Like I wasn't really sure what I was like. 
it, it came out aggressive too. Like oh, he, man, he made sure that you know what I'm saying he, he stated his uh his point. Like yeah. I need you to know this. I need you to know this. I, let me say it. Like, again. are you hollering or like what? Right. I want to show. Yeah, it was one of them. Yeah, it was like you hear you hear it, Pat. You watch like, it. Now. Yeah, I seen it. It was like you know, like yo, back off. Like, like, like all right, you said it. Let's move on. What's what's next? Yeah, like, like if I was in that position, I, yeah, like man. yo, you said it. All right, let's move on. Anyway, like Fred, come on, man, go ahead. This, this yeah, thing, jump in and be like, hey, man, it's, uh, that's let's this thing just perfect. What a lot of sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah. So how y'all feel about Deshaun Watson? Like this nigga asked Shaq if he could sixty nine. <laughs> yo, he got eleven games. Now, see, I didn't think that that was as weird as, as like unusual for me like i thought that was just some freaky shit like all right you just really into like n- understanding other people's sexual kinks and shit <laughs> but i ain't really take that as being like like gay per se or like coming from that type of a it didn't hit that type of a chord in my spirit like hey what am i watching here it was just more like oh there go chanting again saying some wild shit all right, cool. all right. but when he would kept calling that man beautiful it, right like the mood yeah. shifted <clears throat> He kept saying pretty no, but, yeah, but man, I, I think because he kept saying it, that's what made it because that I was uncomfortable, or whether it was like just an uncomfortable thing for all men. Like that it was like that's a no no or no. Am I true? I was like, I, I heard you the first time, nigga. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't that's, think that's what's that point in my masculinity where I'm gonna call another nigga beautiful. Yeah, I don't think I'm that progressive. Now I will say this. this <clears> there, there's an exception. Cause I tell my son he's beautiful all the time. Like, I think my son. No, that's your son. Look at son. Like, he, he's a he's a pretty amazing dude. Man. I don't really know what beauty is for a man, but for a I kid, mean I think that's because we yeah we don't think about stuff like that. That's that's not even in the thought process to even really? think about stuff like that. I never look exactly. at dude just and just wonder, <laughs> you know, about stuff <laughs> that that never crossed my mind to even think about that. Yeah, but usually the thoughts of person is um <laughs> that nigga cute. Is, is done after the person leaves. That's that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my biggest assessment of a dude is usually is he a threat? Mm-hmm. Oh well, do he like the same sports or shit that I like? No, all right. Moving on. Right. You either a friend or a foe. Or I'm moving on. Right. All my criteria. Oh shit. I yeah. think that's just a man that got too much time on his hands. If he's thinking that much, he just got way too much time on his hands. I think Chandler needs to go play in the fan control football league or something. He needs something to occupy his time. Like I think. <clears throat> Like, he might have too much time on his head. Like podcasting might not be giving him enough to do. Maybe he need to work <laughs> better than the podcast, or maybe they need to give him some more shit to do. Maybe he need to be in charge of marketing or something. But he needs something else to do. Cause he's trying to be a star, so he he he, he do a little. I, I, I say I like controversial crazy, stuff, crazy sex talk. So I I I I usually support him, but. Yeah, we can talk about some weird shit on here before something. Yeah, but we ain't never called no niggas beautiful. Hell no, nah, I won't either. I'm not going. Nah, 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 ain't working. Not nice lie. looking, not beautiful, not attractive, not cute, not none of that. Not, none of that. Not he I none of that. Like it just well, that's even worse. It just don't come up. That, that's like he I sound worse <laughs> than <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, that's, I, I that's that's, I, that's I, like I, I, yeah, that, that sounds even <laughs> worse. Don't do nah. <laughs> to South Carolina with you. Change of hats. The fiber rain. <laughs> yeah. But th- that's literally all I really had. Uh I just really I had to see if somebody else had saw that shit and, and see maybe if I was tripping or like maybe if it if it struck a different <clears throat> with other people, or maybe if it was like this. That's just the new normal for 2022, and I'm behind in the time. I mean, I think it's becoming a new normal. I'm in my masculinity now. Like, I ain't really sure if it's like, if I'm toxic or not. And I'm trying to not be toxic while still, like, it's just holding my manhood. 
and I don't be knowing where I'm at sometime. I be like, is society done pass me by? Am I the old, am I old Uncle Ruckus ass nigga now? No, I, hmm. I didn't, am I the nigga telling nigga get off his grass? I'm going to stand where I stand on that. I, I refuse to progress <laughs> on some of my standards, goddammit, and some of my thought processes. Fuck it. Shit. Some shit don't need to change. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to call I don't it give a beautiful. fuck how popular it get. I ain't calling no motherfucker beautiful. I don't want to do that. Shit. I don't want to do it's that. It's unnecessary. I can't do that. I can't bring that. It's unnecessary. Up. Right. And that is not the way to the the how to say big up your neck your fellow man as no, a man. Bro. It's not. Yeah. I don't I feel like I'm in touch with my like like my big my, up my achievements. I don't care what you and think. And I what I look like and you know? all those cool buzzwords, but like I, I tell you, like I ask you this. I pose this question: Did anybody think it was cool to start kissing men when Mike Tyson was kissing niggas after he was beating them up in the ring? Nope. No, that always so it ain't gonna get cool to call niggas beautiful. But I also mm-hmm. always like with that nigga from uh, uh you know how we preach from Albert and preach he just mental health with with Mike Tyson I just always knew it was a screw loose so I ain't never judge him according to like yeah. like normal society's rules like, Still. like he was just an uncaged beast that was like it's like a lion like you ever mm-hmm. seen a lion kind of play with their food before they eat it like eh, yeah a little bit yeah nigga I'm gonna bite your head yeah. off in a minute but right now you 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 entertain it. So let me pose this question. Fight, like, how, how would you feel if somebody, if you were in that position and he were calling you beautiful? <clears throat> how would you handle that on the podcast? Caught you off guard. And all right, nigga, I get, and, all right and, nigga, I get your point. Calm down, bro. That's, that's pretty well, much I'm what I'm going to give him the first one. And I'm going to be <laughs> like, you know, all right, thank you, bro. That's cool. And in my mind, I've already shifted. Okay, so he, he probably gay. So, <laughs> understood. Yeah. Cool. Respect, tolerance, you know. Everybody got they, they thing. Cool. But on the second or third approach at it, <laughs> it's going to probably, yep. it's going to probably go left real fast. Like, we probably going to fight. Right. Cause I'm gonna say or do something at that point that's gonna cause him to have to defend himself in some type of way. Cause at that point now you've made me like I, I've given you the courtesy, like hey, cool. Now I'm probably on that second one gonna be like, hey player, um, I don't really like that. I ain't that ain't my thing, but you know, you're, you're looking at me a little too much. I'll shift my energy back to Ryan yeah. Fred and be like, hey, your boy, you, you good. That's not my vibe, my boy. And then on the third one, now you done heard me and I done told you I don't like that shit and you done continue to do it. So now you just disrespecting my 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 boundaries. Mm-hmm. Now I'm I'm liable to react however I feel like it because you've disrespected that's, my boundaries. I've given you a chance that's to the word. respect them. I've given you like the no trespassing sign and you still stepped on the property. So <laughs> Yeah, hey, faith don't have that much tolerance. Hey, you Boundary. biologically a man, so at that point, wherever it go, we're gonna go. And it ain't got to do with respect. Two Definitely and three. boundaries. Yeah. Right. And he was said it one time, and I looked at everybody like, what the fuck wrong with your boy, man? Yeah. It wouldn't have been no thank you. Nigga, I'm not beautiful. What the fuck is up with your boy, man? Second and third time. All right, we got a problem. It's an issue. You're making me not trust people with this, the name Tony. This whole podcast, I'm about to tell all y'all shit because y'all trying to set me up for some bullshit. What the fuck going on? I just got a different mentality. I'm gonna go on one of them face. I'm gonna die. It's gonna be a problem in that bitch. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to be mature and professional as possible, but nigga, you done hit a different type of button, and I'm, I'm my mind gonna take me somewhere else. What y'all trying to fucking do? Oh, I don't, I don't fuck with this shit. What's going with your boy? Yeah, I don't, y'all know he's gonna pull this shit. The compliments over mm-hmm. and over again from mm-hmm. women, though. Like I'm a happily married man, like. Mm-hmm. It's cool if you think I'm gonna try. Like I don't think it's wrong, nothing wrong with somebody compliment somebody. But like when you just keep on saying it and you getting more and more like passionate with that shit, with every time, like yeah, uh, f- where yeah. we going here? What's what you are? It's just, it's just me with the word beautiful. I oh, that for, a, for a man to tell me I'm beautiful. That no, nigga, I'm not no, nigga. No, 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 I ain't not. Been to prison, but I have been. I to can't even say thank it's you. Just something about like that that just it sends me like prison rapey you. vibes. Like what you what you own? Like what? You, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Like if you tell me my shoes look 
dope too many damn times. It take me to like what. what so what you saying? You, you trying to take my like, shoes? Nigga? What we on, nigga? Yeah, like, exactly. I don't know. My brain wired different. Like, mm-hmm. no, nah, you, you wired I really into like. Mm-mm. Right. You know I mean, compliments and moderation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, cool that you like some, but when you keep on saying it, like, I start thinking, like, well, why are you that passionate about my shit? With, right. With, yeah. with mm-hmm. I'm gonna, right I'm gonna start. Right. Me, right. I'm gonna start being. If they start doing this with compliments with, with men now, I'm gonna start acting like people with their pronouns with when it comes to compliments. Like, nope, you don't. You don't I don't like you don't like those type of pronouns. I don't like those type of compliments. David kept complimenting Bathsheba in the Bible, nigga. He damn sure sent her husband to the front line to get killed so he can get some coot loot. So that tell you, man, too many compliments don't lead to nothing good, man. So something something mm-hmm. happened that ain't right. Right. And I need to exit stage left. Oh, I'm gonna turn this bitch up. One of the two, depending on the, the gender and the severity of the this the indiscretion that is. Why do we live in an equal opportunity society? God damn it, everybody can get it. Yeah, the fans on shit. You put me, you make me feel some type of way. I'm gonna give it to your ass. And if you're a lady, I'm just gonna call my lady and let her handle it. But furniture gonna get moved probably after about the second or third one. Cause yeah, we yeah. call some boundaries. Yeah. You gotta get your funk sway right. You know, sometimes you gotta move some furniture. And at the end of the day, this is NFL nigga, so this ain't no little nigga saying this shit. So yeah, that, 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 that automatic. And uh, yeah, I ain't about to wait to see what you about to do. I'm gonna go ahead and just get it set started. Like mm-hmm. even sometimes, like when they compliment too much, I almost feel like, all right, are you secretly hating on low or something? You know what I'm saying? Really like is. some ain't right, but nigga. You trying to be sarcastic? For lack of words, I don't know why right. you all that. Like I get right. some passive aggressive stuff. I, I get my wife compliments, but I don't be like. That that passionate unless I am trying to kick it off with her. If I'm giving her that many damn compliments, hey, I'm trying to let you know what's up. Right. At no point in your mind did you, you ever have is like, this nigga trying to fuck me? What the fuck? No. Bruh. That thought should never come in your mind. Fuck fight or rob, but it don't feel right after a certain point with anybody other than my wife telling me that many times that I look good. Like with, that's, with that's why I had to switch my hat from oh. that fuck hat to this gun it's hat. Set up. <laughs> camera. What's, what's going I'm on? I'm sorry. If I'm out and it's somebody other than my wife that tries to compliment me, I think something up automatically. The <laughs> fuck wrong? Hold on. What, what, what's the setup? What's the setup going on? Mm-mm. You are aged. Yeah. Who sent you? Who sent you? Who would you talking to me for? Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. I don't even have a friendly face like that. <laughs> nope. I don't mind <laughs> outside. God damn it. So what you talking to me for? I, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I try not to have a friendly face. They still be trying to come if up. You to ain't my wife. I ain't right fucking me. talking to you. If I don't know you outside, Man, I don't go for who like, you are. You look like you would give everybody a dollar. You just have that face. Like, come, 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 give me your woes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a shoulder cry right here, buddy. I got you. And I'm the complete opposite inside. It's uh, oh, I, don't work. I don't know. I don't, I'll be respectful and cordial and, and whatnot, but inside I'm like. I hope they finally get get over whatever they going through right now. Not me. My wife tell me on a daily, I'm rude as a bitch when we go outside. Damn you, rude, yep. Fuck them. I don't know them. I know you. I love you. Shit, I love you. I married you. I ain't gotta gotta be nice to nobody else but you. I am going to heaven off the strength of my wife strictly. Because if it was up to me, champ, I'm going straight to hell. I don't like no. The way he said, fuck them. I'd be hateful as shit. (laughs) My wife don't let me order. If we got to go somewhere, we got to go to the drive-thru. I'm not allowed to order. Mm. Mm-hmm. Your ass about to not be able to eat nowhere in your whole Right. Life. You know, now that I think about, about it, I think about to after. get nothing but dick burgers from now on, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what she ordered. That's Great mm. special sauce. Every I drive and she ordered from the passenger side. Now, up there, <laughs> there go that nigga again. Yeah, go ahead and get the stuff ready. You, you, you know how he about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, not I. I let her do all the order. I drive everywhere. She order from the passenger side. There you go, be about. I slide back. There you go. <laughs> I ain't gonna speak. Have our food all fucked up. Nigga, pull up to the drive through like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Hell no. Every time, nigga. Hell no. 